Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I think we're ready to get started. We're grateful to have you here. I'm Derek Miller. I'm the president and CEO of the Salt Lake Chamber and Downtown Alliance. Thank you for joining us here at Smith's to kick off what we believe is not only a dynamic, but a very necessary campaign. Many of you have heard about Stay Safe to Stay Open. It's a statewide program to encourage businesses to take a voluntary pledge to follow seven simple guidelines that are provided by the Utah Department of Health. In the first few months of this program, we've had thousands of businesses join the cause, promising to take steps that are necessary to protect themselves, their employees, and of course their customers. We've been pleased by the response, as well as pleased with the positive effect that it's had on consumer confidence. The state has now asked us to take that campaign to the next level. And we're honored to have here today Governor Gary Herbert to introduce phase two of the Stay, Stay Safe to Stay Open campaign, where dozens of ambassadors will be mobilized across the state of Utah. Many of these in colorful vans that you see here today and others through telecommunication, email, and personal outreach. This initiative will be supported through earned and paid media as well as online outreach and outdoor advertising. The Stay Safe to Stay Open campaign is a partnership between the Salt Lake Chamber and the Utah Department of Health. Distribution partners include regional and local chambers of commerce throughout the state, as well as partnerships with the Governor's Office of Economic Development, the World Trade Center of Utah, the Suazo Business Center, the Downtown Alliance, the Kemsey Gardner Policy Institute at the University of Utah, the Utah Retails, Retail Merchant, and Utah Food Associations, as well as the Utah Safety Council. Our united goal is to reach every business in Utah, and those businesses who take the pledge will be added to a statewide directory that Utahns can then review to assure them that they're going into a store or a restaurant or an office or any business that is adhering to guidelines from the Utah Department of Health. They will know what to expect and they will know what is expected of them. A directory of businesses taking the pledge can be found at stayopenutah.com. These partnering businesses are providing safe, trustworthy experiences with a goal to heal our economy as we engage in commerce anew. The reason that we're here at Smith's Food and Drug is because this was one of the first businesses to take the Stay Safe to Stay Open pledge. And we're pleased today to have Aubriana Martindale, the Division Corporate Affairs Manager with us. Along with Governor Herbert and Aubriana, we'll hear from Gary Porter, Senior Vice President at Deseret Management Corporation, and currently serving as the Vice Chair of the Salt Lake Chamber. And we have the opportunity to meet some of our ambassadors on the eve of what is bound to be a memorable adventure on the road for them, taking the Stay Safe to Stay Open pledge and message to cities and towns throughout the state. We'll proceed in that order. We'll hear first from Governor Herbert, followed by Aubriana, and then Gary Porter, after which we'll let two of our ambassadors introduce themselves and their team. Governor Herbert. Well, thank you, Derek. Um, it's an honor to be here, but I'm here all the time. I brought my Smith discount card in case Jeanette sends me a list of things to pick up while I'm here. Uh, as you know, the mansion is just down the road here a few blocks, and so I have the opportunity to come here to Smith's and pick up my groceries on a regular basis. And I do appreciate what Derek has had to say here, and I appreciate Smith stepping up and saying we have a way to make people feel comfortable when they come shopping. And that's what this Stay Safe to Stay Open is really all about. As I'm very proud of the work that's been done in the state of Utah, particularly during this coronavirus pandemic. It's been a difficult and challenging time for all of us. It's been very disruptive. You know, it's been a very complex issue that's uncertain. Uh, we still have medical research being done to help us answer questions that we don't have answers to yet about, about what the future is going to be and how we're going to handle this until we get a vaccine. Now, I just came back from Washington, D.C. 
Uh, I've been there a couple of days meeting with some involved with the Department of Health and the FDA to see what we can do and how, what we can anticipate for a vaccine. And the good news is it's not a matter of if we're going to have one, it may be a matter of when, but I think that's just a matter of by the end of the year or the first quarter of next year, I think we're going to have a vaccine ready to distribute to, uh, uh, to the, the people at large. Now, does this mean my time is up? <laughs> this horn. Um, we've done well as a state for a variety of reasons. Uh, people have tried to do their best to, in fact, follow appropriate protocols of mask wearing, social distancing, uh, proper hygiene, washing your hands, uh, you know, trying to stay away from work when you're sick. And consequently, because of that, we've done a pretty good job of opening the economy. We don't have the restrictions that have found in many of our states. Right now, it's uh, we're at 4.1 percent unemployment rate, which for most states, by the way, before the pandemic hit, was full employment. So the fact we're at 4.1 percent says a lot about our economy, our business people, leaders, our uh, the people of Utah, and our willingness to get together and find solutions and still conduct uh, business and life uh, as closely to normal as we can possibly do it during a pandemic. I, uh, it certainly speaks well of the Salt Lake Chamber of Commerce. I appreciate Derek and the Chamber's leadership in helping lead this out on this uh, Stay Safe to Stay Open campaign. Uh, I think as we have more and more businesses join, it's going to in fact encourage people to have confidence that they can go to their businesses and be safe while they're conducting business, uh, whether that's buying groceries like we have here uh, at Smith's Food and Drug, uh, manufacturers, uh, furniture outlets, associations with our doctors, our, our CPAs. The ability to get back together because we have businesses that are creating a safe environment is really a critical issue. Um, so that today we're recognizing Smith's Food and Drug for their willingness to step up and be one of the first in line to sign up. You can imagine if we have businesses out there that have the good uh, the seal of good conduct, I mean, we've, we've joined, we've taken a pledge, we've joined this Stay Safe to Stay Open. It says to the marketplace, this is a safe place to shop. Seeing that little seal on, your, on the, the front doors of your business is going to uh, help you keep your business and maybe increase your business. So today we're asking all business leaders across the, uh, the state of Utah to sign the pledge. Uh, it's a voluntary commitment. We're asking to follow basic public health guidelines. It's not anything hard to do, but it's something that we need to be reminded to do for all of us. Uh, we simply ask everyone to go to stayopenutah.com and join us with this important initiative. Um, there's nothing probably more important right now if we're going to get back to normalcy is to in fact have the confidence in our, cons our consumers out there in the business uh, arena to feel safe about what they're doing. So that begins in our homes and businesses and consumers as they see the stay safe and stay open seal of approval. Uh, the window on a restaurant, for example, a retail store, they can be assured that that business is following guidelines from the Utah Department of Health. Again, instilling confidence that you can shop here safely. Uh, we know that safety is a number one priority for what we're doing here to fight this pandemic. We look forward to everyone stepping up and joining in this campaign. And uh, if it only can help Utah recover faster and better uh, and make our future be uh, bright, and hopeful, and optimistic. So we thank everyone who's involved with this event happened today. And for those who have led the charge, again, particularly the Salt Lake Chamber of Commerce, we appreciate their leadership. So with that, thank you very much and good luck. Well, thank you, Derek, and thank you, Governor Herbert, for being a loyal customer. But Kenny, he's paying close attention to our prices. He just listed about five different products to me. So, Brian, make sure we've got those hot ads going. We're certainly excited to host you all here today as we kick off the Stay Safe to Stay Open campaign. I think we can all very well agree 2020 has been anything but normal, certainly a year we couldn't have anticipated, but it really has taken all of us coming together as elected officials, as community partners, as businesses to really achieve what we're talking about here today. And that's simple ways to keep each other safe to ultimately keep the economy open. 
And we've been able to do that with the help, guidance, and leadership of Governor Gary Herbert, partners like the Salt Lake Chamber and the Utah Health Department. It was really around March, Smith's had to quickly put together a pandemic preparedness plan. And this was a challenge for us, like many other businesses, but this is a plan that we're still monitoring and constantly evolving, especially as we soon reach the holidays and we know that more families are having meals at home. I think we can all agree that we know businesses thrive when we're able to forecast, when we're able to prepare for trends, when we can plan for peak seasons, we can prepare our supply chain. We can manage our operation for an influx of customers like Thanksgiving, which I can't believe I'm saying is right around the corner. But like I mentioned, this pandemic was a challenge. So we really want to thank our customers for their patience and the kindness that they've shown through to our associates throughout the last several months. We know that food is essential, and so we knew we had to keep our doors open. And yes, we are in the grocery business, but more importantly, we are in the people business. So we really had to put a plan in place for two perspectives. And the first was the customer experience. Like Governor Herbert said, we wanted to be a place they knew they could shop and be safe. We knew we had to uphold our commitment to stay open, to stay stocked, and to stay clean so ultimately our customers could put food on their families' tables. So you may have witnessed a lot of differences when you visited your neighborhood store. We had plexiglass shield guards at all of our registers. We have social distancing decals on the floors. We have one-way aisles. We've enhanced daily sanitation from the grocery carts to the, to the registers to all of the highly touched areas. And of course, we made the request for our customers to wear masks. And with the help of Governor Herbert, we were able to act as a, as a distributor for the Masks for Every Utah program to ensure that all of our customers had access to masks if they needed one. And facial coverings is really what brings me to our second perspective. We had to consider being an employee for 20,000 people. We had to build trust with our associates to show that they could come up to they could come to work and they could be safe. And it's really our associates who we owe so much gratitude for for allowing our doors to stay open so our customers could get access to free food, to essential food and essential products that they needed. I know we have some of our Smiths team here, so thank you all so much for your dedication to keeping to preparing to providing food to our customers and keeping our doors open. And so when we ask our customers to wear masks, it's to protect themselves, but it's also to protect our teams. So additionally, we've made sure that our associates have the necessary PE, PPE, that we conduct temperature checks, that we've extended our paid emergency leave guidelines. So if our associates aren't feeling well, we ask them to stay home. We have free COVID testing for our associates that are showing symptoms. And we've added labor for personal hygiene like hand washing. And these are just a few of many steps, but these are the steps that align with the stay safe to stay open campaign. And really lastly, we wanted to be there for our community when they needed us most. We were fortunate enough to be able to add 5,000 jobs to the Smiths team. Some of those people have gone back to their regular businesses, but it was a safe haven for them to get employment during the pandemic. Additionally, with the help of the Salt Lake Chamber, we were able to grant a $30,000 to nonprofits to help feed families when they need it most. So ultimately, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is the health and well-being of our associates, our customers, and our communities is our top priority. And that's why it was so easy to say yes to the chamber and do the voluntary pledge of the Stay Safe to Stay Home campaign at all of our stores. To show our customers and our associates that we care about them and that we care about their safety during these challenging times. So I certainly, I encourage all of our partners throughout the state to make the investment. It's easy, but it is a powerful outcome. And together we will see the great benefits and opportunities as Utah returns not to a new normal, but a better normal. And all you have to do is make the simple seven step pledge that you see on the van right behind me. And I'm actually gonna turn the time over to Gary Porter to say just how easy those steps are. Thank you, Abriana, for your hosting this today, and thanks for all that Smith's does. Like the governor, we live very, fairly close to a Smith's store that we frequent often, and so we're grateful for good work that they've done during this pandemic. As vice chairman of the chamber, I'd just like to say how grateful we are for all the work that's been done to keep the Utah economy moving. I know Governor Herbert has walked the fine line between keeping the businesses open and keeping people safe and healthy 
And this initiative that we have today is a wonderful initiative to, to strike that balance. I've also watched the chamber team work tirelessly to help businesses, whether they're small or large, whether they're members of the chamber or not. They've had an extensive outreach to strengthen the business environment here in Salt Lake City. And I've participated and appreciate the many forums that, that, uh, that have been provided to us to provide counsel and advice and direction for businesses during this pandemic. And so I take my hat off to the chamber and the governor for the work that's been done jointly on that effort. As Deseret Management Corporation, we're pleased to have joined this effort as you can see on the van, to stay safe, to stay open. It's a process that enables us to infuse safety guidelines within our workplaces. As Abriana mentioned, these safety guidelines that are listed here on the van that the Utah State Department of Health has given to us to, to enable us to stay safe during the pandemic. And so we want to just invite all of the businesses who are listening in to join in with us because of the benefits that we've seen and the health protection that it can give to your employees and those around us. It's very simple. All, all you have to do is go online to stayopenutah.com and take the pledge. We appreciate the pledge that, that uh, is provided for us because it's a way to, to underscore the need to follow these safety guidelines to keep our employees safe and our businesses open. So hats off to the governor, to the chamber, and all of you, and to Smith's Marketplace and Food Stores for all the good work that they do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. It's an honor to be here today. Let me introduce you to our team. I'm Alex Goodman. We have Rachel Larson. Todd Seipert, Mike Salas, Dale Lloyd, and Melissa Chauvin. The Stay Safe to Stay Open pledge allows companies to voluntarily commit to following basic public health guidelines and to get a seal of approval. Rachel. So you can see the guidelines behind me on the van here, um, but just to go over them, they are check symptoms before work and stay home when you are sick, wash hands frequently and avoid touching your face, practice social distancing, including wearing a mask covering and close common areas, learn about high risk groups and, how, and help protect them, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough, clean high touch surfaces frequently, and follow public health guidance as updated. We're all excited to take this message of remaining safe and open throughout the state to work with chambers and businesses in the communities where safety matters at the local and county level. Thank you for coming and look for us out on the road. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. I believe we have a few minutes left with the governor in case there's any questions for him or for anyone else on our team. We'd be happy to hear your questions. How do you decide where the teams are going to travel to? So it, just in case you couldn't hear the question, the question was where do we decide where the teams will travel to? It's our intent over the next three months to cover the entire state. So that's we're going everywhere is the short answer to the question. So the vans will go to, to do two things. Number one, to raise awareness of why it's important to follow these health guidelines. And then number two, to sign up businesses to actually take that voluntary pledge so they can communicate to their employees and to their customers that they're staying safe so they can stay open. So we'll be working with local chambers of commerce across the state in partnership with them. They're already aware, those local chambers of commerce are aware of the Stay Safe to Stay Open campaign, and we'll be working with them to connect to those businesses. Where would you say that consumer confidence is now? I mean, we're six months into this. Where, where do you think people are? 
Well, consumer confidence is currently measured at a national level. We actually don't have a specific Utah level consumer confidence, but the chamber, along with the governor's economic task force, is working with the Gardner Policy Institute to start measuring that, that consumer confidence. And it's an important point because ultimately, it's one thing for a business to be safe and open its doors, but it's another thing entirely for a consumer to feel safe walking through those doors. So we know that those two issues go hand in hand. That's why the Stay Safe to Stay Open uh, campaign is, of course, a pledge for businesses to take, but it's also designed to raise consumer confidence at the same time. Yes, so we'll do a, we'll have a baseline measure, of course, and then we'll be measuring it uh, month to month to see how that is increasing. As the governor mentioned, we already see signs of the economic recovery in Utah. We're seeing our unemployment rate con uh, continually decreasing now to currently at 4.1 percent. We're also seeing those uh, week to week, month to month number of unemployment claims decreasing. So those are both positive signs. But at the same time, we know that there are still tens of thousands of Utahns actively looking for work, not able to find it. So we want the businesses to stay safe. The reason we want them to stay safe is because we know that's going to translate into job growth. And when we talk about jobs, what we're talking about is people. People with an ability to take care of themselves and their families.